In a previous video, we have seen how to increase the range of an inductive wireless power transfer system. To do so, we used a step-by-step -step impedance tuning process. In this video, we will use a similar process, but for a capacitive wireless power transfer system. As most people are not familiar with a capacitive coupling, let's start with a simple mechanical analogy. In the case of the generator, we would have forced oscillations, so charges will oscillate from one plate to another one and forth and back. And at a distance, the electric field will induce charge oscillations between the two electrodes in the load side. As charges oscillate between the two electrodes, this system is the exact solid state counterpart of two coupled mechanical pendulums. As the involved frequency are very high, we will not be able to see the transitory regime, but only the permanent regime. In this first step, the generator dipole is directly connected to the signal generator. The load dipole is directly connected to the LED. You can see that some power is transferred to the LED. To get such a result, you need to adjust the frequency of the two circuits. You can see that if I tune the frequency a little of resonance, there is no more energy transfer. The rural size is about 60 cm. You can see that the distance between the generator and the load is about 40 cm. So the relative distance is about 4 because the size of the electrode is about 10 cm. In this second step, I have inserted an up transformer in between the signal generator and the generator dipole. The up voltage, the up ratio is 4. You can see that the distance between the generator and the load is now about 60 centimeters. Then the relative distance is about 6. In this last step, I have inserted a down transformer in between the load dipole and the LED. The voltage ratio, the down ratio, is still a factor of 4. The distance between the generator and the load is now about 80 centimeters. Then the relative distance is about 8.